Hi, it's Carter Paulsgrove, and I want to talk about Microsoft Teams and Cisco WebEx and where momentum fits in to those two voice solutions that most of your customers are going to be interested in. We believe most customers have a strategy around either Microsoft Teams or Cisco WebEx. So where does momentum fit in to both of these? So let's start with Microsoft Teams, one that I'm sure lots of you have had conversations with customers about. First thing you need is an E3 license with Microsoft plus the phone system license or you need an E5 license. Typically this licensing is purchased through a CSP, an MSP, um, something of that sort. So imagine this licensing as essentially your phone system. This licensing lives in Microsoft land up in 0365 with your email and everything else lives in the Microsoft cloud. That's where the licensing is. Now you need dial tone, what they call the dialing plan. You can get that directly through Microsoft. So in other words, you're going to be reporting your numbers to Microsoft. Um, and they're the ones going to be facilitating all your dial tone origination. Now, years ago, you only could get it through Microsoft, but they opened up a feature called direct routing which uh, providers like us um, provide. So what direct routing is, you think of direct routing as SIP trunks up to Microsoft. So think of it like that, SIP trunks, and we provide that momentum, direct routing over to Microsoft. So you port your telephone numbers to momentum and we hand the dial tone over to Microsoft. So long as you have your E3 with a phone system license or an E5, um, with direct routing you can go so the dialing plan you can go direct routing um, or you can go directly to Microsoft we suggest go with a provider like momentum to where if something were to happen to Microsoft we have your telephone numbers and we can swing those numbers send those calls elsewhere now in this type scenario one of the biggest challenges with Microsoft Teams is who's administering essentially the phone system so when you think of Microsoft Teams up here is where your auto attendants live. This is where your call flow lives. This is where your voicemail lives. This is where your time of day is. So all those features and functionality have to be administered by someone. Now Momentum, we're just the dial tone provider, um, but who's gonna be administering it? So typically the MSP that's selling the licensing can do it, or the CSP. Uh, which is administers that. So the, your question to, to the customer is, yes, we could get you on Teams enabled as a PBX, as your phone system, but who's going to be administering the, the environment for you? If you have it on staff, great. Let's get you a direct routing or a calling plan, um, and then let's enable that. Now, the other side of this is Cisco WebEx with Momentum. So this is where, in Momentum's world, everything is with us. So within Cisco Webex, you have the Momentum's network with our multiple um, data centers across the U.S. for voice redundancy. This is where your um, auto attendants are going to live, time of day, all your telephone numbers are going to live. And the front end, the application that all the users are going to be using is Webex. So Webex is the is the desktop application and the, and the mobile application that the end users are gonna be using. So if they have, say they're coming off a of call manager, they're using Jabber, well, Cisco WebEx is gonna be a, a good solution for them. And buying WebEx through a service provider like Momentum um, is gives you the, the, our team to deploy the services, to support the services. You're not gonna get lost into the Cisco machine. Uh, you're gonna be working directly with us um, to service uh, you and your customer um, for moves, ads, changes. Um, all within Momentum. So now a good use case for Microsoft uh, Teams where, where Momentum can be of assistance to you is if you are an organization, let's say you have a hundred uh, users that are, let's say they're remote and they're carrying E5 licensing to where they're going to be working from home and they're remote. They're using Teams as their desktop application, their mobile app. It works great. It, all, it services them. But let's say you're retail or you're uh, manufacturing and you have distribution centers or retail centers and you have overhead paging um, or you have uh, faxing or you have phones on walls for common areas. 
Um, or again, if you're, like, if you're like a retail type of environment, you just have phones on desks. So in a pure Microsoft environment, you have to have um, specific licensing for these basic users. So it can get real expensive to carry a high uh, license for these users or a hybrid of some sort. Microsoft has some hybrid, but again, you're, it's all gonna be staying with Microsoft and it can get super expensive where momentum can be helpful as opposed to having to carry heavy licensing um, with Microsoft, we can do a hybrid approach. So you still have your O365 environment. We're providing direct routing to this for all your dial tone that enables, say, these users here to make receive calls. But what about your retail? What about, let's say this is a call center down here and you have, say, 60 agents down here and you want uh, omni-channel and you need uh, screen recording and all the different things you would find in a call center. Well, you're gonna find a hard time servicing all these other needs with Microsoft Teams, but you've got 100 users it works great for. So with Momentum, we can build your contact center over here within our infrastructure. We can provide you the overhead paging. We can provide common area phones, retail phones at a very low monthly price so it's a hybrid environment. So where the, the, the retail centers, the contact center, they're all built into our environment. But since up here we have all your telephone numbers and we're managing the function down here, we can bridge those services. So if a call comes in to us and it's destined for say, an end user and we hand that end user the call, if that call needs to come back down to a retail center, we can move that call. So essentially it's almost like two phone systems talking, so we can run a hybrid type environment. Uh, but again, on the Microsoft side, what's really critical is who's going to be administering that O365 environment. So who's, where do you get your licensing from? If it's direct through Microsoft, then it's safe to say, Microsoft's gonna be administering that. So that's always the trick in all this, is who's gonna be administering the customer's O365 environment. Um, we can help with the dialing plan, we can help with augmenting, a lot of those other services with faxing over paging, contact center, call recording, all those other feature sets. But again, who's gonna be doing that? So the reality is if this isn't gonna work, if this is too complicated or it's gonna to be too costly because when you start looking at the licensing calls, the dial tone, it can get on the higher end. But over here on the WebEx side, it's a little easier to where you're gonna push out WebEx to all the end users. And then we're gonna be administering that um, all the services from Soup and Nuts. So there's two ways you can look at it. We believe every enterprise organization over 100 users is going to be looking at either Microsoft or Cisco. There are other outliers uh, out there, other service providers that organizations might be looking at. It's going to be based on demographics, the customer size, what's happening within, within the organization. But we feel in the end, years from these are the two players in the voice space. Um, and momentum sits to be able to work with any type of customer, if it's a Cisco strategy or Microsoft strategy. So um, bring me in, let me talk with your, your customer or talk with you to help you understand what the right direction is gonna be. If it's all Microsoft, let's price it, let's show them the solution, let's show them what a hybrid solution would look like. So I look forward to working with you and uh, thanks for watching, thanks.